Welcome. By the end of this video, you will be able to enable HTTP requests in the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have Roblox Studio open. And I'm going to click on a game that I'm working on. Now, in order for this to work correctly, you're going to want to make sure that your game is currently published to Roblox. Uh, what you'll need to do is go up to File and then Publish to Roblox. And then it will ask you to put in different information like the name of your game and then the description and so forth. And then you just want to click on Publish to Roblox. If you have any trouble with that, I have another video that you can look at for how to publish your game to Roblox. But once your game is published to Roblox, then you will go up to the game settings and you're going to click on security. Now security, there's going to be a option here for allow HTTP requests. So basically you're turning on the uh, HTTP service here. So in order to turn it off, you would have it like that. Uh, but in turn, order to turn it on, you want to have it show green and then press save. And once you do that, you'll be allowing HTTP requests in your game. Basically, this allows you to connect to remote servers in the game that you're creating. So you now know how to allow HTTP requests in the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. The links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.